Okay, well, to episode 105 of the Epic Film Challenge uh, in time. Quickly sum up the plot. It's set in the future where uh, everyone has a clock on their hand. Uh, everyone is kind of, what's the word? They're genetically made to die at 25. Or they don't age past 26. 20. 26. Yeah, yeah. The, as soon as someone gets to 25, they get a clock on their arm that gives them a year left to live. They have the clock on their arm, it just doesn't start to count down. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, and they can work for time, so there's no money, it's time. So, like, you know, uh, at the beginning of the film, it's like, oh, I want a cup of coffee, or oh, it's three hours or something like that. Anyway, so Justin Timberlake doesn't like this, and he's kind of fighting against the uh, the whole idea of it, basically. Um, and then you've got, um, I, feel like, I don't know how to say his name, but the guy who was Scarecrow in Batman Begins and the main character in 28 Days Later, which we recently watched. He was like a timekeeper, and he kind of was basically just like a cop for people who steal time and stuff. Um, really good film. Really surprised me. I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it was a very interesting concept, but I didn't know how good it would be. But it was actually very good. Um, very well made film. Uh, well, not especially. I mean, there was nothing in the direction that really wowed me, but the idea of it... And uh, just the way it moved along, uh, it was kind of like just like a on the road film. Really, they're always moving, and that always makes it interesting. I think. Really, really enjoyed it. Can't really analyze it much more than that, really. But I really enjoyed the whole timekeeper thing. That that kind of him chasing him all the time, and he was a pretty cool character. And uh, Justin Tim, <laughs> yeah, and Justin Timberlake was pretty good as well. I give it a nine because I did really enjoy it that much. I absolutely loved it. I loved the concept. I loved the plot. Never heard about any movies like that. So whoever came up with that idea, thank you. Well, apparently there was a guy who wrote a, a short book. a short story about almost twenty years ago that was very slim, similar to it. And he tried to sue them and stop them getting making the film. Well, thank you to him then. <laughs> well, he tried to stop the film whoever getting released. Whoever made up that idea is brilliant because this movie was brilliant. Hmm. Uh, I was skeptical about Justin Timberlake having the main character, but I have seen one, um, a movie with him recently, um, and it was really good, <laughs> and I was really surprised because I didn't really expect that much out of him, and that's probably why I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and, but this movie was completely different, like, um... It um, it's more serious. It wasn't a comedy like the two other movies that I've seen with him lately. Um, I loved how it made you think about like that you should appreciate life <laughs> more because they live <coughs> like hours by the time or, or a day at a time or something like that, and it makes you like think, oh okay, so. Basically, it's more about like poor people and money. It was a Robin Hood kind of story, mm -hmm. cause uh, he and a girl wanted to give time to poor people who didn't have any time. So there were different time zones, and I liked that as well, cause it was like, okay, the poor zone is zone twelve or something, and mm -hmm. everybody's running all the time because they only have a few minutes or hours or maybe a day if they're lucky, mm -hmm. and he. As he gets more time from a guy, he goes to time zone 4, where everybody's just walking around. As he gets out of the car, he starts running, because he's used to it, and then he just, oh, everybody's walking here. <laughs> and they got, like, the women had sleeves on their arms, not to show how much time they had and stuff. Mm. It's just like having your wallet tucked away. <laughs> So people can't steal money. You, you don't want to go around with too much cash on you, do you? You want to have it in the bank. And that people could have it in the bank. So it was really, really brilliant. So you pay for everything with time. Coffee, water, electricity, rent. Everything you pay for with time. And uh, you work to get more time. Uh, or gamble. It was really, really interesting. I absolutely... Loved every minute of it. <laughs> um, kind of interesting that we saw two films today which were both about immortality. Sort of, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't 
know what else to say. Uh, the acting was great, the story was brilliant, the... I just really liked everything about it. I wasn't bored at all. Even when things were a little bit like slowed down and stuff, I just enjoyed absolutely everything. I give it a 10. Okay. Because uh, this is definitely on my top list of favorite movies. Okay, cool. It's a little thing that I, I was a little bit annoyed with though, like Justin Timberlake. Because he obviously tries to be funny sometimes. Like uh, when um, the Minuteman was um, chasing him. And he just went, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm be fucking believable. Unfucking believable. Yeah, I'm, I'm be fucking believable. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't fucking believe it. Yeah. Something. yeah, something like that. And I was like, really? <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought I, I, know, I, I thought I, I feel, thought I feel like it was just I thought I thought really when they robbed a bank by crashing a truck into it and then they were investigating afterwards and the black guy goes must have thought it was a drive through <laughs> That was bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There are a few things like that, but most of it was just yeah. really great. Okay, ten out of ten then. Yeah, okay. definitely.